Hey everybody, today we're talking about the FX Workbench. Everybody wants to know what the difference between workbenches are. I mean, obviously you can get a Vicon Workbench, which is just Tritium. If you're just an integrator and you're just going out there to integrate buildings and everything and not worried about programming controls, Vicon's perfect workbench for you. I mean, there's, there's nothing fancy, no extra widgets and all this other stuff. Uh, Honeywell. Um, if you're going to program Honeywell controllers, you probably need a Honeywell workbench uh, because you're going to need all the modules and licenses they have with that workbench to actually program and download um, the Honeywell Spider controllers, especially the new Spider 5s and the even newer Spider controllers that are coming out soon. FX workbench, you get widgets you get a free n2 driver which is uh you know about a three thousand dollar um driver if you have to add it to another jace that's not johnson um you know it's a legacy product but it's still out there everywhere but you get a lot of cool widgets i gonna show you one of them today so let's go to uh, tools head down here is a widget new starter new jci station and then we can name it we'll just write over the one i have or make a password for it next now you can tell it um what kind of drivers do you have? Do you have an N2 driver? Do you have two N2 drivers? Uh, do you have LAN? This one, I'm just going to do BagNet. I'm going to do MSTP and IP. Uh, NDO. NRIO. It'll build this for you. So that's a plus. Go. And then let's just copy it over station copy and then let's override it and we'll start it afterwards now the downside to this is it loads a lot a lot of extra modules on top I don't know if y'all caught all that that was going through but that was a, a few extra modules that's going to get loaded onto the jace that may not be needed so once this station starts up we'll jump into it there we go There we go. Now, as you can see in your drivers, you have a BACnet network. You have an IP network, network one. And enable that. And then you have an MSTP network. We'll call that network two. And we'll go ahead and set that guy up for 34.8. Com one's good. Save. I'll turn on my adapter here. There we go. So now, what does that get us? So whenever we come over here, and I'm off, I'm 100% offline right now. So let's just say we're going to put air in our controller in here, and it's going to be AHU01. It's going to be on the first floor, first network, so we'll call it 1004. It's going to be an MSTP network, and we'll say the MAC address is 4. Now we got that guy in there. So, and then let's do another one, and let's do a VAV box. And we'll call it VAV underscore 01 underscore 01. 
And that'll be the address. One thousand five. Network number two. And address number five. Okay. So now if we go over here to Import Manager, we can go up here to AHU1, double click on that guy, and we can put a resource file in here. What's a resource file? Well, it's your CCT cat file that we already built out. And then we can tell it create graphics and create HX graphics for mobile applications. And then down here, under a VAV, we can go VAV cat file. And we'll go ahead and create those graphics and create those graphics. Well, now, what did that do to us? Um, it created the graphic for us. It not only did that, but it brought in all the points for us that we needed. Same thing with the VAV unit. Now the graphics aren't the best. I admit, this kind of looks like a plunger style graphic. Um, but, you know, there's animation. This will turn. There's some stuff that will happen here. And you got this one. A little outdated thermostat. And some values. But hey, it was free graphics. And you didn't have to do anything. Also, it created your extensions. So it did trends for you already. It did alarms for you. Already. It did a totalization for you already. So now you don't even have to do that. So there's totalizations. There's alarms. There's history. Let's see what it's charting out it's going to chart out all that stuff if we were online we'd actually see values charting out so that's what you get with the uh, johnson controls fx workbench you get to save all that time in doing that bringing in your points now this might be too many points you might have to go in and weed them out a little bit that's going to affect your graphics a little bit It even gives you this little home screen where you can work with it. It gives you something to work with at least. And, I mean, these links do work. So, it gives you a little bit something to work with. But you still have to do a little bit of stuff. Um... But overall, it's a pretty good deal. If you got any questions, email me. Call the office. Um, everything, I'll leave a description in the link. Or, you know, we just put this up here. Temperature control systems. Like this. Here's our numbers. Again, I work out of this branch right here. Call that number, hit option three, you get the building automation department. Thanks.